Y'all want to see my butt? Just kidding, it's a shoulder. What y'all think y'all are gonna see? This is a cooking page. We're about to make some pulled pork in the crock pot. And I know that's making some of y'all cringe, but y'all, it's good. I'm gonna show y'all how to make it. This here is a three pound picnic roast. Normally I do way more than this, but I ain't going back to the store. So this is what we're doing today. All right, get your butt out or your shoulder and put it onto a tray. You cannot be afraid to season the absolute shit out of this, which is what we're about to do. I'm gonna start off with some garlic powder and we're gonna season all sides of this. Some onion powder some paprika, and any kind of all-purpose seasoning you like. And today I'm using a new one. This is by my friend, Austin Dennis. This is the Any Reason Season, and this is from the I Cook You Look line. And y'all, this smells amazing. All right, we're gonna give her a good dose. And then we're gonna do some salt and pepper. Now you cannot be afraid to get your hands dirty. You're gonna take all these seasonings and we're gonna rub them all over all over the meat, including in the crevices too, okay? Make sure that you get seasoning everywhere. Once it's looking real cute like this, you're gonna take a little knife, like a little paring knife, and I normally do about like five or six little slits in it. And I normally only do one side, but if you wanna do both sides, you can. Then get you some garlic cloves. I am lazy, okay? I'm a very lazy cook, so I just get the kind that are already uh, peeled for me. Then you're gonna take your garlic and you're going to shove it down in that hole. Now it is ready to go into our Cadillac a crock pot. She has a cord wrap and a lid rest. Now don't add any water to this. It's gonna make its own juice and don't trim any of the fat off. That's gonna add a lot of flavor and keep it really moist. All right, now we're gonna cook this on low for six to eight hours or high for four to six. You just wanna cook it until it's falling apart. Once we get to that point, I'll be back. This has been cooking for four and a half hours on high. I took a knife and kind of chopped it up and it still needs about 45 more minutes, but this is the point where we're gonna add the barbecue sauce. We like the Sweet Baby Ray's, and I normally try to add it as room temperature so it doesn't slow down the cooking, and I normally do a cup and a half for every three pounds, so I'm gonna do about a cup and a half in here, mix it up, and see what it looks like. This is what a cup and a half is looking like. As you can see, it's a little soupy, so that's why we're gonna let it go for about 30 to 45 minutes, let that thicken up and darken up, and then we'll be back. All right, y'all, here it is all done. As you can see, it thickened up. It looks real good. I'm serving this with chips. I got to have the puffy Cheetos, some purple onion, mayonnaise, pickles. Sometimes I do coleslaw, but we're not doing that tonight. All right, so I have mayonnaise, pickles, purple onion, and, of course, the barbecue. All right, let's go. It's about to be a mess. Oh, my. That is delicious. So damn good, y'all. All right, y'all. Thanks for coming to my Fit Cooking Show. Bye.